What is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode two of C Sharp for Beginners. In this episode, I am going to show you data types and how we use them. Uh, first of all, a data type is a way that a program stores information. For instance, if we were going to make uh, some kind of program that keeps a record of all the students in a kindergarten class, we would need to store their name, we need to store their age, and maybe their address, stuff like that. So we'd need different data types to actually hold that information. So the first data type I'm going to show you today is the bool data type, and also uh, I better throw this out there. We are making variables. Now, the variable is the actual thing that holds the information. The data type uh, basically tells us what kind of data the variable can hold. So to make a variable, we first say the name of the data type. So we're going to make a variable that holds Boolean data, and it's going to be called B. You can name this whatever you want. You can replace B with anything. You could name it C, D, E, F. You could name it cows. You could name it chickens, whatever you want. I'm going to call it B for Boolean. And a Boolean uh, variable can hold the value false or true. And this is this gets used quite a bit. You could use it for stuff like if you're making a, a platform or a video game, you would have probably a, a variable that keeps track whether or not you're jumping. So you'd have a, a bool variable called jumping, and you'd set it to true when they're jumping, false when they're not, etc. Or you could have this like a, a variable that determines if the user wants to quit the program. So you'd set it to true and they would quit. You'll, you'll see more about this later on, but basically booleans hold true or false. Next, we have the char or car. I've heard it both ways. I don't know which one is proper. If you know, please let me know. Uh, and this char variable can hold a single character. So in between uh, apostrophes, we write a, a character. So I'll put the character M. Now char C, the variable C, that's a type char, holds M. Now. We also have ints, so we'll say int i, and this is just like ints like for math class, you know, a, a positive or negative number that doesn't have decimal points. Uh, you know, int i equals 45. There we go. We also have long, which is like a humongous integer, so l can, this can equal, I don't know, whatever that number is. It's quite a, quite a lot. Um, now, both of these ints and longs, they can't hold decimal places. So if we want to hold decimal places, we can have a float f, and that can be, you know, 3.14, like so. And we actually, for floats, you need to put an f after the number just to let them know that it's a float. We also have doubles, which is basically a float, but it can have way more decimal, decimal points, probably more than you'll ever need. So we'll call it d, and it, this can be, I don't know, 99 point whatever that is. That's quite a bit. Now, one more thing we need is a, a string. And a string is basically how you hold words, sentences, uh, dialogue, anything like that. So the string S could be named, you know, Harry Osborne, you know, like so. That's what you do. So like in our example, if we were making a program to keep track of a kindergarten class, you know, we probably have a a string called name, and that would be, um, I don't know, Larry Wall. So you would have a string that would hold the student's name. You'd probably have an int uh, i that holds their age, seven, and maybe uh, maybe a char sex, which holds, you know, male or female. So we'll put m for male. There you go. As you can see, this is how you use variables and all the different data types that are available to you. You know, later on we'll actually make a program that can actually do things with this, but as you can see, this is how you store information. Actually, what we can do real quick, let's just let me show you. You can do console dot right line and you can actually print out any of these. So let's print out the name. And then we'll do a console console dot read read line. And let's go ahead and run this. And 
you see it will print out Larry Wall, and you can click Enter to exit. We can also do um, print out their... Oh, we should probably name this age, actually. Why did I name it I? Let's name it age. It's always a good idea to name your variables things that make sense, so that way you know what is actually what they're actually being used for. So there we go, 7, and we can also print out... Oops. We can also print out sex, and we will see... M for male. So as you can see, that's how we do it. Later on, I'll show you how to do stuff like add integers, you know, put two strings together, uh, also get input from the user. So we can ask the user what their name is, and then we'll do something with it. But that is in a future tutorial. That is not for today. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it very much. If you like this video, if it helped you in any way, uh, please give it a like. And if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But that about wraps up the video for today. So thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next episode.